Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're writing equations for quadratics. We're converting between different forms, and we're completing the square. So here's the three forms of a quadratic again, and uh, this is standard form. And uh, the axis symmetry in standard form is actually x equals negative b over 2a. Okay, that's the axis of symmetry there. It's always x equals negative b over 2a. So you can get the x of symmetry by looking at standard form, right? This actually comes from the quadratic formula. Uh, recall x equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a is a quadratic formula, right? Um, but the x of symmetry uh, is always halfway between the two x-intercepts, right? The axis of symmetry is halfway between uh, the x-intercepts. So if you get the average you, of this with a plus and this with a minus, you will end up with negative b over 2a. Okay, this just basically cancels, and you're going to get a negative b over 2a if you add them together. Uh, now, so that's how to get the axis of symmetry in standardized form. Factored form... Uh, the axis of symmetry is this, and that's common sense because the average of the x-intercepts gives you the middle of the parabola. So the axis of symmetry is just the average of the x-intercepts. And the easiest of all is in vertex form. That is the equation of the axis of symmetry, just x equals uh, whatever value h is, okay? The, basically the x value of the vertex. Okay, now we're going to answer some questions here. We have... Uh, Find the equation of a quadratic function whose graph has this vertex and passes through this point. So they give us the vertex, so we're going to start with vertex form. y equals ax is going to be a minus negative 1 squared uh, plus negative 3, or basically just minus 3. Okay, so we just substitute into the, in the vertex into a vertex form. And to get the a value, we can substitute in a point, uh, which we have 2, 2. So 2 for the y and 2 for the x and solve for a. So we have 2 equals 9a minus 3. Uh, a equals 9 over 5. So the equation is uh, y equals 9 fifths x plus 1 squared minus 3. And the axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry is just x equals negative 1. Okay, next we're going to go from standard form into vertex form. And vertex form looks like this. So obviously you can, you can complete the square to get vertex form. So that's one of the two methods that I'm going to do. So let's complete the square. y equals x squared minus 8x. Recall that we add half of this squared. Half of that squared is 16. And then we have to subtract it to counteract that. And the 15 is still there. So this becomes y equals x minus 4 squared plus 15. And all of a sudden, you know the vertex, and you can graph this parabola. Okay, another way to get the vertex is, recall, you can do x equals negative b over 2a. So x equals negative negative 8 over 2a. Uh, that is going to be 4, which matches what we had before, right? So x equals 4 at the vertex, and if we want to get um, the y value at the vertex, we do y equals 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 15, which is 16 minus 32 plus 15, negative 16. Uh, did, I make a, did I make a slight error here? Negative 16 plus 15 y equals 1. Oh, I made a mistake in the previous one, sorry. Negative 16 plus uh, negative 16 plus 5 is negative 1. And this is also negative 1. Okay, so the vertex is indeed for negative 1. Okay, these examples are just very similar. Uh, let's take a look at the next page. Right, the equation of the function whose graph has a vertex at 2, 6, and passes through 4, negative 6. Sketch a graph. Let's see axis symmetry. So it's very similar to before. y equals a 
times x minus 2 squared plus 6, and then sub in the point. Okay, negative 6 equals a times 4 minus 2 squared plus 6. Negative 6 equals 4a plus 6. 4a equals negative 12, a equals negative 3. So the equation is negative 3x minus 2 squared plus 6. Okay, and the axis of symmetry is simply x equals 2. So we can start with that. We know what's going to be symmetric about x equals 2. The vertex is at 2 comma 6. And it's upside down because of that. Okay, so then anyway, the points are going to go down this way. The vertical stretch is 3, so instead of going down 1 here, I'm going to go down 3. The y-intercept we don't have, but uh, I know normally I would go over 2 and down 4, so I'm going to triple that and go down 12. So I believe we're right there. Okay, so this is what the, the graph looks like. Okay, we're going to do one more. Uh, so to convert these to vertex form, you can either complete the square or you could use x equals negative b over 2a. I think I'll do that here. x equals negative b over 2a, uh, and that's going to be negative negative 6 over 2 times 3. That is simply 1. Let's substitute in the x value. And we get... 3 minus 11 is negative 8. So that's the vertex. And uh, by the way, the a value is going to be the same in all three forms. So the equation is going to be y equals 3 times x minus 1 squared minus 8. You could complete the square. You get the same thing. Don't forget the 3. That 3 has to be the same as this here. If you complete the square, you get the same thing. I'll go through completing the square. First, you have to factor out the 3, so you have just x squared. Um, now, you do not need to factor out the 3 from the 5. You can just do this. I'm going to add on half of that squared as 1 and subtract it. Okay, so you're going to have y equals 3 times this is x minus 1 uh, squared. Now this 3 is going to be multiplied by this negative 1, so we're going to have a negative uh, 3 minus 5. So y equals 3x minus 1 squared minus 8, which matches what we did before.